All right, folks, so we're going to be doing some uh, back work out here um, for what I can do in this spot. So let me drop down here. So I got two cameras going, uh, one shooting landscape, basically. So when I'm doing the exercise, you guys will see me a little better. And then, then a portrait uh, at an angle. And I don't know if we got enough room over here. I some things around. Probably need to get my weight belt. Um, decided to, you know, work out in this area, which is kind of crappy background, but the lighting, folks, the lighting's where it's all at, right? So I'm not even uh, pumped up yet, but uh, you can see a little more definition than when we're blinded by the other area. Oh yeah, this camera, you know, I can't see much. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to uh, probably drag this out, you know, working on those watch hours. <laughs> but, you know, like I say in all my, a lot of my videos, folks, we are, you know, not a young kid anymore, a young teenager, young adult. It takes a while to get warmed up. Now, if I was at the gym, once I get warmed up, then I'm not going to do all these sets on each exercise. So let's say I were to uh not the angle on this one's too good. Um let's say I was at the gym. I probably wouldn't do this exercise first. I probably would actually start with uh lat pull downs. If I was at a real gym I would use the hammer strength uh, plate loaded exercise and then go from there now as I'm older I'll probably grab a we'll go ahead and grab a uh, weight belt chuck that on it's a good thing about this exercise we gotta grab one dumbbell off the rack. Um, I used to be able to do some serious weight here with this, but there was this time I was at a gym overseas, and while I could do at the time more than 100 pounders, I actually grabbed the hundreds and I did probably my left side and my right side pop something in my back and then I'm like oh my god my back is killing me absolutely killing me and so I <laughs> couldn't get the um, weight <laughs> back up on the rack I just kind of rolled it over and got out of there but uh, yeah, there's some dangers if you've been in any accidents or anything with doing this exercise. Later in the video, we'll do uh, try and do some landmine stuff. If I can find the thing that I need. It's around here somewhere. So, you may not go too heavy in this. We have this rope, which I actually just bought two of these. I sent one back because it was too short. This, to me, is the perfect size rope. We got the landmine thing here. Um, in between sets, I'll, I'll go ahead and set that up. And, you know, this is pretty much the full unedited workout, right? 
Now when I'm doing this, trying to get a nice stretch at the bottom, bringing it up just underneath my chest, stomach area. Of course, my stomach these days, folks, hangs a lot further out than the chest does, which is kind of embarrassing. But you know, to make up for how bad I look when there's the lighting's bad, we've come over here, and I think I think it might look a little better. Now, camera number two would be better if I could get it a little further away, I think. Or higher. But, let's see if that works. Alright, I'm breathing pretty heavy. Uh, you know, not that it's a great idea to work out when you're sick, but yours truly is dead under the weather. And I still work today uh, from from home, but uh, it was rough. I had to take a nap this afternoon. Feel just good enough to work out. <clears throat> All right. So I think I did this already, right? Did the twenties. Now normally I do back at the gym. I don't do it here at the house, but for the sake of not getting anybody sick, um, I'm doing it here. And I get this belt a little tighter. Ah, okay, so. But yeah, if you're watching this, you're like, man, that guy's breathing heavy. And he's not even lifting any weight. <laughs> it's uh, probably due to the upper respiratory congestion I have. So I probably shouldn't have put this 45 down because it's going to get all nasty looking, but it is what it is. So when we're going heavy, if we go heavy in this video, we'll use our straps, lifting straps that is. I'm going to take a cough drop. Alright, so I think we can jump up to 35s here. I do not know what this bench is rated for. Probably a good chance I'm going to destroy it.
So, you know, not everybody's a fan of lifting straps. I had an accident many years ago where my right hand grip is much weaker than my left. And I also found that I can lift a lot more in certain exercises. using these straps so if I wasn't so heavy I'd also do some pull-ups in this workout but dumbbell I have that's fixed is a uh, 80 pounder and but I do have the Olympic um, Olympic barbell or Olympic dumbbell that you can load up I think up to 140 150 pounds I'm not gonna go there in this video if I had something that would provide me back support I I'd be tempted um there's a uh, seal bench I think it's called $2.99 you can get it off of Amazon where you can lie on a basically like a flat bench that's high off the ground and do rows I'm tempted to buy one of those Though I've also thought if I just build a platform for my existing flat bench, um, you know, how much is that going to cost me? <laughs> I could probably, I could potentially stick a bunch of 45s under it. Um, how many 45s can you buy for $300? Probably not that many, right? I'm talking four five six depends on the brand I guess so that would be one way to uh, get that up off the ground right, so I'm going to 45 here now I'm actually starting to find feel it sweat a little bit yeah last night I had a mild fever um, woke my ass up a bunch of times so I'm a too glad to be working out today okay 45 done now, I don't have 55. What's cool though, folks, that I do have these my magnetic two and a half pounders. I can make one of these weights go up in two and a half pounds, or we can go up five pounds. Um, I'm going to bring the 50 over there. We'll go 50, and then we'll go 55 with it. I'm noticing in my collection here, I've got a few things I I should sell off. I don't, this bench here is way too uh, cheap for somebody my weight. I've got a set of what's 18-pound dumbbells I need to sell off. Um, 45 pound plates that aren't the same diameter as the other ones I'd like to sell off I'm trying to think of what else maybe 
get some bigger dumbbells too. I've uh, occasionally, you know, you'll see in a video, I'll use some heavier dumbbells at the gym than what I have here. And, uh, you know, I, ju I just don't see enough use for them here to make work spending, hell, 90, 195 pounds, whatever one's going for at Walmart, like 115, I think. So 230 for both plus tax. And that will be ridiculously painful to get from where the uh, mail person drops them off or delivery person drops them off down here in the basement. And I'm thinking how many exercises would I actually do with those? Uh, I'm talking incline bench. I won't do flat with them. Incline bench, <laughs> you're talking uh, shrugs. Um, maybe some kind of squatting exercise. But that's it. Maybe, you know, overhead triceps we could do. Beyond that, don't have a lot of use for them. This exercise, I could I could use them after, you know, I do this for a while, get, get bulked up. And you've probably seen my videos, hammer strength, the plate loaded row. I can put five. Um, when I was younger, I could put six 45s on there, assuming six fits. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes I have, have would have to use a hundred pounder. Um, so we, you know, that hundred pounder on there, that's basically 245. So I would have that and I uh, like two forty or four 45s in my younger days. That equated to, you know, quite a bit of weight for this exercise. But, um, with no real back support, I don't, I really don't know how far I could go with this exercise. And, you know, of course, do you start cheating? You know, probably cheat a little bit on the hammer strength machine, especially doing one arm at a time. But I'll tell you what, that really shocks the system doing that way more than um, the cable row does, in my opinion. So as I'm getting warmed up, this is feeling better and better. And it does, actually does feel like lightweight. Now, you see me pulling up. Landmine 45 and the barbell. We have a device also. Grab that. Where I actually load it up and do one arm rows with the landmine. And I may just demonstrate that. Now, the question is if I can do it with the bench. Not sure I can, but we might be able to. So, next set, and once again, I apologize for breathing heavy because of the congestion. Um, so we've got these two and a half pound magnetic weights. So next set will be 55 pounds. And while I'm in this, between the sets. Let me just go ahead and show this to you guys. Um, assuming there's a camera that can pick this up. Alright, so we're going to back up a little bit. This may provide a better view anyways. And I think my Samsung tablet is somewhat magnetic, so hopefully it won't fall. But here's the, uh, the one arm grip. And basically, I can, one camera's gonna pick this up. I can do this, you know, slightly standing up, but not, you know, I don't know if that's that great because you're. Just not that comfortable position. And it's also 
makes me curious how much weight I'm actually putting on there. Um, I'll also use that rope to do hammer curls. And lately I've been having a serious problem with this right elbow. I had a couple cortisone shots in it. So basically somewhere in there I fell down a, a cliff and uh, jacked up quite a bit of my body. And this elbow has not been the same. Like I can't even completely lock that out compared to the left side. Um, but I also feel like there's some fragments or something in there. Something's not right. And doctors, you know, oh, you just are old, basically. So it would be awesome if I could go find a real sports doctor. All right, 55%. So, like I said, this feels pretty light. Where the problem is, is in my the lower back. Um, I don't want to strain it too much, so we will we'll do a set each side, take a break, and do the other side. Whew. But yeah, I have the ability for this exercise to go up to 80, uh, 80 pounders and then 85s with fixed dumbbells and magnetic weights. With the Olympic dumbbells, we potentially could go, uh, hell, hundreds, 140. I don't know what my max would be right now, but I think I'm, you know, I'm limited in this exercise by what my lower back can handle, not, not how much the muscle can do. Alright, so... Another set down. Now we do have 60s. And I do not have 65 though. So, if I can find a 60. There it is. I'm waiting to put one of these weights down on this bench and it just completely collapses. Work the whole fruit. One of the other. Look, it's a little warm in here. So I'm down in the basement, which is actually pretty cool, but I rarely ever sweat, folks, down here. And I am uh, working up a, a sweat, which I'd say probably has to be related to being ill. Um, but hey, <sighs> I've had different points in my life streaks where I can say I've worked out six months, a year straight, even, you know, slightly sick. I come down here, I'll find something to do, you know, whether it's just working the forearms, biceps, half hour, and call it a day. Um, you know, who knows what we're going to do here today. We're getting near the end of the dumbbell rack. I don't... I don't feel all that pumped up yet. Now, I, I made a video, folks, kind of short video, showing what I look like when the lighting is really bad versus, uh, you know, how it might be with the lights right above me. Um, let me see if I shut this other light off, see if it'll look better. So, you know, obviously influencers use a lot of tricks to make themselves look bigger, right? Um, you know, the first starts off by, first photo, you know, lighting's bad. They're not flexing, not doing anything, don't have a pump, right? Then next thing you know, they're pumped up. The lighting is better, right? So, lighting from above and they're flexing, right? So huge difference that makes. Um, but it is it is amazing the difference how somebody like myself looks 
Um, I can make one of those videos, hey, I gained 20 pounds of muscle just by taking one lousy photo. Same backdrop, but the lighting's different. Uh, the final thing that I, I don't do is tanning aspect. Alright, so this is, this feels really light, folks. Like, to be honest with you, I feel like I could rip 120s. No problem. If my back would hold up. You know, as many of you will find out as you get older, hell, maybe some of you found this in your 30s, 40s. Second you, your back gets a little jacked up. It's a bad thing, right? Um... It makes getting rid of the stomach harder. And I, I honestly would put my abdominal strength up against anybody that walks into the gym I go to. Now, would I, you know, do a fitness competition of some kind, bodybuilding, uh, where I'd have to take my shirt off? No. Because uh, plenty of people have better looking abs. But strength wise, you know, for what I can do on those abdominal machines. Um, I'm, I'm doubting there's anybody in the gym that I go to that, uh, you know, could do the same amount of reps on the machine that I do. Uh, all right. So left side 60. If you do this right, folks, you can feel your back muscles pulling the weight up, not your bicep. The bicep, you know, is, does come into play, but hopefully if you got a big back, that is doing the work. All right, so we'll jump up to 70s. But now if I get real crazy, we may just make a freaking dumbbell. Um, so I'm not sure the lighting looks better right now than it did, but I'm going to turn the other light on. It's a little too dark. So, of course, my goal with the channel <clears throat> get a lot more subscribers, right? We're halfway, we're over halfway there on watch hours and subscribers. Um, got a long way to go, though. I haven't put, I could probably put more time into this, uh, set up better shots. I think with time, as I make these videos, I'll be like, okay, that is a better camera angle. The lighting's better there. Just like, hey, why am I over here right now? Um, the lighting looks, is better. The background is not better. I'd like to, uh, oh my God, it's a bug down here. Um, I'd love to get the walls to me, Greg. It's actually a grasshopper in here. Um, he's dead. If you guys pick that up. So, I like to get the walls, I think, painted like a dark gray or black. I'll have to watch some of the videos. Like, what makes, what would be better? I think with my skin tone being so white, um, it would look better. If it was black. Just like when I wear a black tank top, it looks better pretty much in any other color I can wear. Or a black uh, sleeveless shirt. Alright, so yeah. Be good to paint this area. This is the only area that is actually close to being paintable down here. The wife and I ran out of steam on our project. Um, this was going to be the home theater room, and it turned into my fitness center. 
and I'd actually like more room for the fitness center. If somehow the channel would, would take off, we would want to expand. All right, seven pounders. So I don't know when I said, oh, I think I could crank 120s. 70s uh, starting to feel a little heavier, but I think 100s would have been within range. Yeah, so if the channel becomes more popular and produces an income, we could, uh, I'll definitely decide to, I think, hire somebody to finish the drywall, paint this place, um, and do some of the flooring, and then start upgrading more of the equipment down here. I need a better power rack. I'd like a, I'd actually like a real incline, commercial incline bench. Um, or military. I've talked about this in other videos, but yeah, there's, there's equipment that needs to be bought. Oh, do we need bigger dumbbells? You know, probably not. Interesting enough though, the more weight you throw up, usually, you know, corresponds to a uh, more watched video. So, if they would pay for themselves, and hey, now you'll find my videos on weightlifting on three channels, basically, and uh, some of them, you know, or some of the videos are monetized. The chan this channel is not, though. So that was a seventy. I think we'll just jump up to 80 and maybe we'll do 85. Whew. So I don't know why I haven't taken the stickers off of these weights, but if I remember selling them, you'd be like, oh, they're brand new. Just kidding about that, but the big difference between a 70 and 80, holy cow. <sighs> yeah, I I mentioned Walmart has ninety ninety-five pound rubber coated dumbbell, one fifteen. Um uh, Cheaper than what you can buy the buy the nineties for. So that's why I was thinking I'd just skip them. But reality is the magnetic weights don't stick to those. I don't think so. That might be a mistake um, buying those. But I figure the rubber will do less damage if I drop them. Um, And then I also probably leave the rubber ones on the floor unless I buy another rack. <coughs> so, that said, birthday's coming up, folks. Uh, please donate to the channel. <laughs> I need I need more stuff, right? Uh, yeah, we got enough barbells. Dumbbell wise, I need another I need another sixty. I thought about getting a 55, a pair of 55s or 65s, but I'd be smarter to just buy more magnetic weights, I think. And then I need uh, 90s, 90s, maybe 100s. I need a higher quality incline bench, adjustable incline bench, or I need a, a actual um, commercial grade incline bench. I'd love to buy a real Smith machine too. That'd be awesome. But you know, when you do the numbers, something like that's going to cost a good one, 
two, three thousand or more, right? How many freaking workouts, how many months of working out at Planet Fitness in the gas to get there will it take before that pays for itself? It's gonna take a long time. Now, I could do some awesome workouts here, film like crazy, not care if anybody's in my shot. The only time I've, I've really felt comfortable filming at Planet Fitness was uh, like 3.30, 4 in the morning at one in New Jersey where I was uh, <laughs> almost like one of, you know, three people there, including the person working there, right? So I was like, yep, yeah, I'm just going to film my whole bench press. I'm going to film, uh, what else did I film? A bunch of different machines. Um, then a lot of people started showing up closer to five. And that ended that. But that's the time to go film there. I'm amazed how, I don't know if I call it brazen, but how some of the influencers are so like, they work out by themselves, they film themselves. And, you know, dance in front of their cameras, do just idiot, you know, stuff you would think is idiotic if you're in the gym watching, like, what is this person doing? Um, but reality is, you know, you gotta get the shots, right? Gotta get the camera shots to uh, increase your views, increase your money earned. All right, 80 pounders. So that still didn't feel too ridiculously heavy. I will say it doesn't feel light anymore. Um, whatever that was, 60 pounders, and a huge jump from that, from those to this. Whew. But it's good to do this again. I, you know, Plant Fitness, you only go up 75s, you know. 80 pounds between 75 and 80, not that big deal. Of course, like I said, I can make this into a 85 pounder. Um, now the big gym I go to, I got 150s. And if I ever could get myself back in that kind of condition, it would be awesome to use those weights for this exercise. I think we'll call it on that, folks. I was going to do 85, but could have did the uh, dumbbells, I guess. Um, made a little bit dumbbells. <sighs> Burning up. All right, so tempting to do some hammer curls. I guess my elbow's all right. I don't want to do, folks. <sighs> we could make an Olympic 90. Just to demonstrate. <sighs> if I can find them, I don't know where I put them. Okay. All right, screw it. We're going to make an Olympic 90. Pounder. Or 80. We'll do uh, 80 pounds. So you probably could do this with almost with 25s. Maybe not. Uh, ideally, I think you'd have, you'd have a bunch of 5 pound plates. So I'm just going to put four tens on each side. And we'll uh, put some collars on here. I just do one side at a time.
and I'll probably do a uh, uh, turn one of these into a YouTube short just to demonstrate. I really actually want to make 100 pounders, but. I don't want to call it ego lifting, but maybe it would be ego lifting in my current condition. All right, so need four more tens. I've got a bunch of crap in the way when I walk off camera. Yeah, so we could do, I guess I could get at least two more of these on each side. Oh. So that won't roll off, right? That would be not so great. So the, <clears throat> the bar and the collars is about nine pounds. And then 80 pounds of weights. So we're at uh, 89. I do have microweights if I really wanted to make that exactly 100, or excuse me, exactly 90. I have used these for hammer curls. Surprising the weights don't slide off with you know good good uh, collars on there. Whew. All right. Yeah, so I made this video earlier today. Um, I guess I had to make the video today, but I did the edited a video I shot previously. Um Showing me, you know, how I look when the I'm not pumped and the lighting is bad, and then compared to basically right now, um, it's funny some of the comments. Somebody made a comment about the stomach. Love it. Just like, yep, doesn't phase me. I haven't had a six pack in a long time. <laughs> All right, here we go, folks. Let's try these. Try this 89 pounder. Oh, a little bit of strain on my bicep. That's not good. So, I think that means the landline is not going to get used for arm curls. <sighs> Hopefully everything's okay in there. Knock on wood, wherever someone's at. Okay. Now, on the left side, which I did have a strain in it recently. Can do it folks hope you got something out of it the lighting is just not so great but oh yeah we're doing back i gotta leave my shirt on so you can't really see the back you see what the arms are like. 